Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to convert an audio sample into a slice drum rack in Ableton. Doing so gives you the ability to edit individual parts of the sample. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here we have our session. I've pre-selected a sample for us to use here. Word of caution, it's a little bit slow, but that's the point. We're going to slice it up and make something new. Let's take a listen to it. Okay, let's add this into the first MIDI track. I'm going to click and drag this down to where it says drop an instrument or sample here. So I'm going to drop it in. On the left hand side of the sample, you're going to see classic, one shot, and slice. We're going to click on slice. It automatically slices a couple transients for us. If you want to change this, go to where it says slice by and click on the arrow and you're going to have a couple more options. You have transient, beat, region, and manual. We're going to stick to manual. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to move this back a little bit. And to create a slice, double click on the part where you want the slice. I'm going to double click there, double click there. And you can go ahead and slide the slice wherever you want to. I'm going to move it down here and I'm going to double click here. So now let's play this on the drum pad. Let me zoom out. Perfect. To convert this into a drum rack, you can click anywhere, right click anywhere on the sample and choose slice to drum rack and it automatically puts our slices into a drum rack. So slice one. Now, I wanna make a beat using slice one, three, and four, but slice four is a little bit too short. So I wanna go. To fix this, I'm gonna show device here. It's the third button down. This shows me what's inside slice four. So I can edit the start, the end, and I want to make it longer. So I'm going to go to warp, select complex pro. And right here where it says one beat, and I'm going to click on the second two. This makes the sample a little bit longer without it affecting too much of the sound. So let me see what that sounds like. Still a little bit too short. has a little bit too much high frequency compared to the others so we can fix this where it says frequency I'm gonna drop this filter down to about 2020 let's take a listen so let's play slice one three and four perfect so as you can see, this is a perfect way for you to slice up a couple samples regarding vocals or a piano chord, whatever it is that you're working on, especially if you're working on hip hop, this is like a perfect way for you to get that MPC style feel. But yeah, so this is how you convert an audio sample into a drum rack. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and comment, and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. I'll see you at the next session.